Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about dancehall artist Coyote putting IRFM on blast. And the reason why I must speak out is because last night, um, Sting must have some form of media launch and after party. Because you know say Sting and next month thing, right, my people? And it seemed like IRFM must put everybody performance on them page except for Coyote. So Coyote never liked that him feel like they might try to sabotage him. So the man go live and actually address them, my people. So I play that live there so they can tell more anything. And yeah understand also we're gonna talk about footer hype using vanessa bling to despise and also shensia well not just shensia even d angel all of them we do they they um the lgbt show and them thing there them get this by footer hype you understand but we know i mean the spice and shensia i'm gonna talk about also we're gonna talk about drake becoming the most streamed artist in jamaica for three years in a row people in jamaica support drake and also, we're going to talk about popular YouTuber and blogger Andre Stevens, who was held up on R-O-B-B-E-D today, my people. Man, them put the tool on Andre Stevens and take away him phone, my people. Jaja. Ja. Also, we're going to talk about Demarco finally blasting Renee 630 over recent talks that she made about his Puppy Tail single. Oh, him go up on Puppy Tail tour with it and him never carry her up on tour and make sure get visa and them thing there. Demarco finally address it, my people. Also, we're going to talk about Bounty Killer blasting diehard voters and them are the people who talk about them are born labor right and born PNP. Well, Bounty Killer put them on blast, you understand? Also, we're going to talk about Popcorn apologizing to fans and after he was not able to make it to an unruly party in Dublin, you see my people. He make a post, so I gotta talk about it. But before we go no further into the topics, don't forget for like, share, and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time Four. Would I definitely appreciate that? All right, people. So the first thing we gonna talk about is Coyote Zine. So Coyote go live on Instagram and basically my blast IRFM because they never post theme performance on them Instagram page, and apparently, um, you know, like people must attack Coyote. They ask him what go on, or them now post up film performance. Them even post an artist where this coyote. I don't remember what the artist name, I think a Harna Har City or some like same so name of people. You understand the man had this up coyote wicked last night, my people. So you don't know coyote felt some type of way and him feel like IRFM I try to sabotage him career and stuff like that. Him did even show some posts where some people are asked why coyote name I get call and film performance you no know, show and all of them thing there but anyway my people my I play the video now so you can hear a coyote have to say only can tell me if you don't feel like say he's actually correct as it relates to IRFM trying to sabotage his career or was it a simple mistake by them not remembering to actually post his performance on their page my people mm -hmm. I win me nice I'm a boss song you see that that's it I that paved the way for everything you get me when me nice me quick and they say no I really fun time everybody's no coyote and them thing there Oh yeah, my next song we are on the road right now. Every dance right now, we just a take time a build up so. You see, every selector around the world right now, every mixtape I hit the artist team, I take time build up right now. You get me? So, at them thing they will go at the press conference to promote. So my friend, all oh, this morning you now, me wake up and see all of my fans them text me. Uh, uh, we call it tag me to to IRFM page for performance and me not and my performance are the funny. Every other artist me I see performance there, they can't see no coyote performance. So I'm like, I wanna go on so I can't understand this. I won't reach the so Like a some sabot sabotage thing I go on, brother. Oh, 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 I am see me all get tagged. See your rate, look past my day, me even know. I mean I get tagged as artist with song with two big songs in the road. You get me? So I want really know what I want to say. I say I want to me tag area for me now because I don't want to attack on them now and know what I want to get me. Because I think I sting a war time, I think at December 26, I know say shot for fire. I never know say a, a press conference for fire shot. I think I camera shoot shot over this up. So when time me see them, I think you know they surprise me and then verse, what make it verse, me even see my performance on the page. So I say, how them are the alien? You get me? So I really wanna know if 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 me a chat fuck you know, they tell me anybody on the live, you know, tell me if I fuck you me a chat you know, why you know, how can they be everybody performance posted and not coyote. 
we get my area film as a station where we look up to. From we are youth, I grew realist area film. Then till man go so boom and fire and sang in the music now on. Area film give me the strength from the initial stage I play a coyote car. One thing you need me talk fox in. You get me? Area film, then run with my thing, then big up coyote, then play a coyote song, you get me but you know everything time everything come with time, you see. Not true your not true your big up coyote means say eh? you can come sabotage coyote no one for those accept it. You get me, you know, do something you like about it. I mean a bonfire upon it, you get me. Well on you. Yeah. So want some of them call them man. You see. Yeah man, Ricky, you're not a joke, man. Big up Ricky feet. Don't at all. That's it. Them you they are you there. Run the coyote thing straight from a taller time, you see? You have the bad shoes, you want the bad thing, you have the bad gears, you see? Yeah, man, fully mob, man. But, anyways, back to that. I have to like what's going on. You know, I have to accept it, you get me? Because I want an alien man and an alien girl, man, you hear that? So, we have to just deal with the thing better as media outlet. We are, you see me? We want some valid, in, some, some, what do you call it? Some reliable information, you see? Yeah, I saw me that for the other thing. You can't just give one side of story and a post one set of things, man, and make the thing look away from the artist, man. And I have to fix up that, man. You hear me? Big up RFM said we do that. But fix that, fix that. No, 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 no. Man, think them slick. Six pants, they both will lick them cheap. A sting will go for war, man. You hear that? Remember that. So watch out now. DJ Peel out. You just join the life. Big up yourself. Brawly. Brawl him, big up all the yellow name for the man said I want to call him and say I want to go on because I don't know, I saw me, but you call it, you call it tonight Lego the street wins, you know, so this is how they look from this You want to think that is it Alright my people, and Coyote did also post some comments where some people are blast area FM like this comment saying as media house, even if you have preference, it must not be seen. When you post, since this newcomer have words for Coyote, post Coyote and stop ask people to tag him because he was there. If you're getting paid to blacklist him, then well, we'll see. You see me? Somebody respond to that comment and say, I was thinking the same, 100% agree. Is IRFM picking sides and blacklisting? That's very unprofessional and unfair as you guys posted every single performance except coyote you understand my people so that is what's going on people are asked where's coyote post somebody says so coyote wasn't there where is his performance people are asked for coyote performance my people but did see him performance but i never feed them page my seat pan but they remember what my seat pan you understand him perform so me nice when my nice are some go on and them thing they see it him go on with himself my people they see it so let me know if you feel like them the um media house or the radio station or whatever you want call them if they might try to blacklist the artist leave it in the comment section so the next thing we're going to talk about is footer hype seemingly this in spice shensia and all the other females who do certain shows you understand we perform like lgb events and stuff like that and how him do that him use vanessa bling for do that so vanessa bling was recently in london and you don't know her performance was very good zine but actually see like a little snippet it she have the people them singing my people my naga around you like our songs them from back them time there it's still at the way it's supposed to do that's why when song big song big so we have to big up vanessa bling for continue you know i maintain a certain level of respect out there people them rate her anyway basically footer hype posted this clip my people For vanessa
Yeah, man. So in the caption, him say, good character and moral values will always win. The dirty fast lane will vanish and destroy you. This girl, Vanessa Bling, is a shining example of staying the course and winning. She never lose herself or dirty up the culture. My love her. Him also made another post saying, me never yet better and lose yet. Morals always win. Big up Vanessa Bling. Never dirty up or batty up. <laughs> Yo. Never dirty up or batty up the culture yet for make it. She take the long road, but the victory is sweet. Me yep, her, yep, 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 So, of course, Futa is a man we always I say, yo, Spice and Shensi are them, batty up the culture and all them things there. So, we know what them are talking about because him say it out time out time and time again but this time now he might use Vanessa Bling as an example for sure say look this girl I never do nothing funny yet she never take certain type of show she not perform a certain place and she still manage for actually remain relevant and stuff like that you understand my people and of course you know people are going to bash foot a hype because he might show shit span spice them and thing and thing my people but you know, everybody have them opinions and wanna know say as it relates to footer hype, him always about not spice and shensi are them wicked upon the internet, is it? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Demark speaking out as it relates to Rene 630 and this whole puppy tail argument, my people. So this is what the story I say. Demarco Blast Rene 630 Amid Fallout over Puppy Tail hit song. De Dancehall artist Demarco has some harsh words for dancer turned artist Rene 630, who he said wanted him to take her on tour for his hit song Puppy Tail. The song was released in 2014 and immediately took off, but Rene 630, then a popular dancehall queen, created a viral dance that saw female fans especially copying her dance moves and making the track popular across the Caribbean and in Europe. Despite Rene inadvertently making the track popular, Demarco slammed Rene for asking that he get a visa for her to go on tour with him and perform the song. Demala sent me, me Demarco go up on a puppy tail tour, you must be effing mad, he said. Me go, pa, me go up on a tour named Puppy Tail, nobody nowhere in this world you can find that. I just realized them just always are spread and I try to disrespect my thing. He added, Demarco is responding to Rene, sharing a clip from an old interview on the let's be honest podcast on her instagram account this week where she said the artist never paid her any money for her contributions to the song demarco make a bag of money after the song the renee said at one point my friend them say yo ask demarco if him can get a visa or something called the song big she added that demarco manipulate and tell me a bag of things and me say all right more work with it. Remember, me no know nothing about the artist something there. When me see all the tour after that, me I say, no man, something no right man. Me realize, say, me just get con or me start get con. Demarco also directly responded to her accusations. Move your blood. You need to be independent. You need to want to do things for yourself, Demarco said. Them say, yo, I already did name what my name before. So what's the problem? You can't come and expect me to bring you the water, bring it to the water and take up the water and put it in your mouth to drink it. No, it's not unusual for dancers to accompany artists on tour after creating the most for their songs. Dancers like Kiva the Diva. Daima and many others were taken on tours with artists like Movado, Shaggy, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer and were paid for their appearances. On social media, fans disapprove of Demarco's statement. She never said she a wait for you to give her a visa, but she has said you use her dance and you make millions. At least you could have her for her dance and bring her upon a tour with you. Uno Jamaican man, one person said. Boy, oh boy, me I wonder if these men love women. Mighty God, man. Man. Your tone alone speaks volume, another fan wrote. You never did a puppy tail tour, but you definitely performed the puppy tail song, which contributed to the millions you gained. She gave you a dance. The least you could do is have shown appreciation by taking her with you to perform this perform the dance. If ungrateful was a person. So people, we're anything because this song here gone all long, but obviously in a 2023 it is still creating like a controversy. You know, and it really sad for see Demarco and Rene 630 fall out over this. But I actually like for them talk it out and just squash down that thing you're still in our people because I don't think it's that serious because the time gone and thing, you understand? And I think really and truly 
we are in 631 is an apology from DeMarco. That's how she want. You understand? I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, but she did say, yo, if the man did forward out and say, you know, me did wrong and rate it, should I probably move past it? And I know should I move past it. So, I don't know if DeMarco going to do that, but only can't make me know anything about this in the comment section, is it? So, the next thing we're going to talk about is popular blogger and YouTuber Andre Stevens, who got robbed to the MO people, you understand? And you don't know some man. You know, put the tool upon him and basically take away him phone. You see, my people. Now, I'm not sure where it happened, but I near my home. I don't know where I live, but I near my yard, him say. So basically, make a post upon him Instagram page. I met the people, him know, say, just got robbed my phone at one point. And basically, him say, you know, just got robbed near my home. You see, my people. So. You know, the greatest thing is him have life, you know, and him just take him phone and cut with it. You see it, you know. Yeah, when in a them time, yeah, when it comes down to like near Christmas time, you don't want to have your phone in your hand when you walk on the road. And it's really a shame. I hear a phone where you work hard for and you can't even walk with it. But we know how the thing go, especially as me say in a Christmas time, you don't want to walk with jewelry around your neck and you don't want to walk with your phone in your hand. Unless, of course... You know, <laughs> you're willing to risk yourself for, 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 for vanity. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Popcorn apologizing to his fans because he wasn't able to make a performance or an annual party, I should I say, in Dublin. Right, my people? Now, I'm not even know about that event here, but it seemed like the annual boss, you know, never get access and stuff based on way I say. So basically make a post saying to my true loyal fans in Dublin, I apologize for not making it to the annual party tonight. They didn't give me access to enter today, but we will connect real soon. Hashtag 876 good. Yes yeah, my people so that's our popcorn post and thing of course, a lot of persons uh, say, oh, you know, them need, them are artists I need to ensure them have certain things straighten out before them even promise the fans them, say them are going to show up, because this obviously is a big disappointment to all of the fans. They want to know popcorn fan base is not normal. Yes, it's so, you know. Him say next time, so I guess the fans them can look out for you next time, and I think Mrs. Somebody left a comment, I say, Again, like them I say it happened before or something like that. I don't really know, but that's how we see popcorn post, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is bounty killer. Bashing persons who is basically calling themselves dyad voters. And you don't know the thing as it relates to politics in Jamaica, is it? So this is what the article is saying. Bounty killer slams dyad voters. Veteran dancehall artist bounty killer has called on Jamaican to put aside their dyad partition ways and to consider policies the next time they go to the polls to cast their ballots. The self-proclaimed poor people governor made the bold statement while performing at the Campari slash Magnum Holiday Vibes Red Leather Roadshow held in Lidstead, St. Catherine, last Friday. Make sure you vote for good policy, he told party goers while educating them about the important role political parties play in the country's democracy. In a simple explanation and somewhat of a rebuke, Bounty Killer says they are not like a party when you just go and fun and skin up your teeth. Our future here yeah, ramp with the cross, angry and miserable dancer general said he called on the country's leadership to do more to improve the lives of Jamaicans. Bounty killer Segu into politic education saw him dropping cl classics such as look into my eyes and fed up. Jamaicans are likely to go into the polls next year to vote in the local government elections. Parliamentary elections are due in 2025. The Jamaica Labour Party led by Andrew Holness controls power at both the local and central government levels. Bounty killer known for his social commentary told the Linstead crowd that they owe it to their families and country to make sensible choices at the polls. Who know for stop vote for no belly when on a vote you know, vote for yourself, you vote for your country, your pitney and everybody else. Vote cannot be bought. Vote supposed to be earned, the dancehall entertainer said. He continued, stop it. Stop ramp with Jamaica future. May I talk to PNP and GLP. Make sure Uno vote for good policy. So when Uno dead and gone, your pitney and your family tradition live good. Uno not supposed to be diarted to no party. Be diarted to policy, infrastructure and good governance. Meanwhile, the warlord who has been on a high since being reissued with a UK visa recently, 
also used his performance Friday to reconnect with his bass, delivering some timeless hits. He belted out several hit singles such as Ben Zambima, Worthless Boy, Living Dangerously and Sufferer, thus ensuring that fans who came out to witness a 30 minutes entertainment package were left satisfied. The event was staged by both Campari and Magnum Brands in an effort to give back to loyal customers and introduce the new red leather mix. So yes, my people, big up to Bounty. Everything where him say makes sense, is it? Stop vote for no belly. Vote for a little money. You understand me? I say vote for, for better infrastructure and all of them things there. Make sure say oh, you know, on you youths them get for benefit of the votes and them things there. And yeah, that or that. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Drake who is the most streamed artist in Jamaica for 2023. And this is what, third year in a row, Drake had dominated. So let's get to the article so I understand what's going on, is it? So it said, Drake is crowned Spotify's most streamed artist in Jamaica for 2023. For three years in a row, Maladon V6 is the most streamed song. Drake is the number one most streamed artist in Jamaica for three years in a row on Spotify for 2023, according to data supplied exclusively to WMV by the streaming company on Wednesday, November the 29th. The first person shooter, artist who dropped his eighth studio album for All the Dogs in September, leads the pack along with seven dancehall artists artists to make up the top 10. In 2021, when Drake first headed the chart, several dancehall artists including Vibes Cartel voiced a lack of support for the Jamaican artists on streaming platforms. Unlike last year, Spotify says the company does not break down the rap 2023 by genre. This year, Scissor is one of two North American R&B singers on the list and the only woman to make the top 10 coming in at number 4. At number 2 is Newcomer Valiant followed by Vibes Cartel retiring to the number 3 position. Chronic Law moves up to number 5. Number 10 last year. Skeng is at number 6 down from 2 last year. The Weekend is back on the year end chart at number 7 down from 5 last year. Alkaline is at number 8 down from 6 last year. Baker makes the year end chart for the first time at number 9. And Massacre round out the chart at number 10 down from 4 last year. Maladon V6 produced by Ireland Boss is the number one most streamed song on Spotify in Jamaica for 2023 according to data supplied exclusively to WMV. So yes, my people, I'm not read out the full article, but it's a, you know, it's a good look, say, oh, Maladon, him song a going good same way, V6, big bad song, as it, I, boy, I wonder if people are going to burn out Drake, yo, and talk about this and that, and burn out Jamaican same way, because, you know, as, as them say in the article, you know, Vibes Cartel at one point did voice his opinion, you know. But I don't know for some more people, but let me know what you guys think about this. Drake a big artist still, that I want thing me know. Anyway, let me know what you think, is it? And that's it, you know. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.